Hubble showed that the speed at which galaxies move away from us is directly proportional to their distance from us. The theory of the Big Bang, together with Hubble's observations, suggests that the universe is expanding in the same way as this expensive and sophisticated model is expanding. The galaxies, however, are spread throughout the universe, not just stuck to the surface. If we make the assumption that the galaxies have been moving away from us at the same speed as we see now, and if we know how far they are away, then by dividing the distance that we measure by the velocity that we measure, we should be able to calculate the time that it has taken for them to move apart. In effect, we can play time backwards. Deflating as this balloon deflates, but without the spectacular sound effects. Tracing right back to the Big Bang, all matter was very close together, and all the matter of embryo galaxies was compressed into a small space. Looking back again at the graph, the gradient, which we call Hubble's constant, is velocity over distance. If we simply take that and then invert it, we get 1 over Hubble's constant is distance over velocity. Then you know that distance divided by velocity equals time. Our best estimate for Hubble's constant is 71, and the units for that are kilometers per second per megaparsec. If we make these units consistent, that is, meters per second and meters, we get this new fraction. If we first of all simplify the fraction to give a value in seconds, and then divide by the number of seconds in one year, the total number of years comes to 13.8 billion. Remember that this is a simplified form of the calculation with one or two sweeping assumptions. However, it is generally reckoned to be a reasonable estimate. Thank you for watching. Thank you.